Hello, my Sock Universe. Of course, I was gonna go wear million in debt. If there's one league that really bucked the trend uh, this week of not a big team losing, yeah, besides the Austrian Bond Bond Bundesliga, it was Serie A, where we didn't have a big giant dragon slaying, but we had quite some great action in there, all kept by a brilliant Atalanta Milan game. Uh, but we also had some other interesting stories in there. I would say we get started. I watched the Turin Derby. Um, although it was for the longest time nil nil, especially the first time, I found highly entertaining with Juve enjoying maybe the better, better stuff, but uh, then uh, Torino pressing the life out of Juve and having really, really giving Juve trouble and probably wouldn't have even deserved uh, a lead. Yes, uh, McKenney missed, I think, two chances, or, you know, botched two chances, I should say. Um, and it really took then Juve a while to get going. However, in the second half, and this is bizarre, despite without being Dybala, without Morata, and you know, maybe also with a little bit the lift from beating Chelsea, um, they got back into the game. And especially, I was surprised how well the midfield work uh, worked, especially um, Bernadeschi played a really good, good game. That, that, that player was out of Juve. I mean, they were even look, looking to sell him. I know he was a rumor ro to Milan. Uh, yeah, played a really, really good game. And for, I actually thought, yeah, it will be a nil-nil draw, but Juve is getting better. And then in the end, Locatelli gets the win after Chiesa uh, assists him. Maybe a teeny bit lucky for Juve, but overall, I think it was not an undeserved win. Um, undeserved is probably what we have to say about Inter. Yes, they keep on winning, uh, but the signs are that the team is not quite all right. Sassolo created many chances. They took a lead through Berardi penalty at the half. Handanovic really saved a few chances for um, uh, Sassolo. So keeping Inter in play. And yeah, uh, Chalnobyl came, came on with the, and uh, at that point then suddenly the game got better for Inter. Edin Dzeko and Lattaro Martinez with a penalty give Inter a rather lucky win. And we kind of see maybe, yes, they're still winning, but uh, the whole build-up does the Arsenal work. Another team uh, that coming off a daughter with Lazio losing three at Barone, Musopero. Uh, the uh, Theati and Hikik, Scottish guy, giving Bologna a 3-0 win, that's a big result. Um, I a little bit regret not watching Sampdoria against Udine because I mean 3-3, what can you wish for? Roma on 2-0 win, I guess professional. Napoli hanging on, surviving Fiorentina. Do not underestimate Fiorentina season. They have a great coach with Italiano uh, who Fiorentina will give trouble to many teams. They had Inter uh, in many ways already on, 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 on the ropes. I'm a little bit afraid of playing Fiorentina uh, for Milan at the moment. Uh, they take the lead through Martinez uh, in the 2028. Then Insigne misses the pair penalty before uh, Irving Lozano equalizes. And then Napoli is just a stronger team and they are despite losing to Spartak Moscow in the midweek, they are enjoying a tremendous start to the season, having already another win. So uh, we, we got to see the winning goal, then of course came uh, through Romani in the, fifth, in, 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 in the fifth, and in, in the end, I think it was rather deserved for Nap Nap Napoli to hang on there. However, I have to say the, the Atalanta-Milan game held everything that it promised. This was a great game right from the get-go. Milan from the kickoff. Going forward, I, I think it was a run by um, Theo Hernandez, who plays to the other wing, <laughs> Calabria, in, in, in the box who takes a shot. Weirdly, it was like a ho uh, ice hockey goalie safe. Hockey goalie safe. Uh, and, uh, into back to Cal Calabria, who makes it one well, well in the first minute. And then, really, Milan for the next 10, 15 minutes. Brilliant. Absolutely ruthless. And unlike Inter, for instance, there is a clear structure there. I really like how this Milan team plays and how young, young, young they are now. This uh, don't care attitude. I really, really am a big favor of that one. Yes, Atalanta came and Atalanta came big and Mike Mignon needed to pull out a few, a few saves. On the other hand, if you play a few attacks cleaner, you can go with, uh, get the 2-0 sooner. Uh, with Antonali who, who, who intercepts a pass. 
runs through on goal and pressure former pressure player Tonali scores it 2-0 he was whistled at every occasion so this felt sweet in it 2-0 I felt rather relieved the second half um, I have to say I wanted Milan to make the third one sooner um, Atalanta was coming uh, and it, especially Duvan Zapata they had a really hard time controlling although Tomori again played very 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 good um, and then it was, I think it was a four on three. But here another egg actually kind of misplaces the ball, but Leao uh, takes a great shot to make it uh, three nil. At that point, the game was gone, and I actually thought maybe we can really get revenge for the five nil uh, about two years ago, and add a fourth and and a fifth. But he brought on uh, Messias just before that. The big story from uh, Crotone, and then. Uh, Benazir, Fortunato, Balo Touré, so kind of, you know, give some other players, we have won this game, let's give them some, some, some chance. Chances were there to make us really around. Rebic working tirelessly. I really enjoyed uh, watch, watching, although he was a little bit unlucky in the end, in with uh, respect to the end pro product. But then the game took a really weird turn. A uh, penalty that Sopata converts, I don't know. I mean, Messias goes in there with a really unlucky... But it was a rather weird penalty call uh, in, 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 in a way. Okay, it's 3-1. We just need to see it out very late, late on. Then Atalanta actually gets another goal. And I have to say, this was a weird result because that game felt 3-0. Every bit that it ended 3-2 was a little, little bit of fluke. I think in Milan, uh, if they... I think the exchanges were a little bit kind of took the wind out of the sails in a way but before that played brilliantly and that all on Slatan's 40th birthday where he got a big cake and a wine bottle and a seemingly a Ferrari um, but yeah that was basically it uh, Milan brilliant at the moment I really really enjoy watching them things are going back level I used to watch Milan because Lusk was so pain painful then Lusk over the past few years was definitely less painful than Milan actually a lot of joy now it goes back to the the old order is established in many, 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 many ways. But just, I really hope Milan can preserve this form. There are a tough set of fixtures coming up uh, rather soon. So, yeah. Let's see. Uh, there's also some, there are really some big fixtures coming in this next lot. Like a Juve, Roma, there's a Milan Derby, there's Inter, Juve in there. Uh, there's Roma, Napoli. So, uh, really, if you're a Serie A fan, good things are coming. Lazio Inter is also in the next round, so a really, really great re re results. On top of the table, it's Napoli and Milan and then Inter and then Roma, all with two points dif difference. Those seem to be, at the moment, the teams with Napoli and Milan seeming the most convincing, although the, my algorithm still gives Inter the biggest chance of winning that title, but I want to see how this will develop as the season goes on. Also, um, I don't know. I trust Milan, and that's weird to say, a little bit more than Napoli. And I'm not counting Juve out. Absolutely not. I'm not counting Juve out. Uh, Juve can make a run, unfortunately. So please spare me your Juve, Juve's week. Uh, it's still very, very early in the season. There are many games to be played and never count Juve out. So that was it from me for Serie A. We have now an international break coming. You get a stats cast where you get all the um, numbers uh, as the last video. And then I'll move fully into the international break. And we only talk international stuff for about two weeks before we go back to the club. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!